Hello everybody, King Chiggy here, and welcome back to another Pokemon Wi-Fi Battle Royale to the Death on uh, Pokemon Black and White 2. Uh, this battle is actually going to be different. This is a single battle. I know, ooh, scary, moving out of the triple battle zone. Uh, this is actually a battle that I had with one of my good friends, Kira, on the uh, Snowpoint Temple channel. Chat, group, thing, whatever you want to call it. Um... So yeah, I, I just went on there and said, hey, you know, I'm finally getting into battling, anyone want to go? And Kira was like, alright, I'll go, I'll take you on, and you know, it was, it was pretty fun. So, you know, single battles, not really good at them, so I just kind of wanted to see how it would go. Started off with Infernape going against his uh, Jolteon, uh, went ahead and you turned out into Nido King predicting the Thunderbolt, and went ahead and used Earth Power just to, you know, hit it as hard as I could, and that is going to be the end of Jolteon, so, you know, about a minute in, he's already down one, um, he's gonna go ahead and go into Espeon, and if you can't guess by now, or from the, uh, did I put a segment at the beginning of the video? I, I probably did, um, switching out to Metagross here. Um, it, Kira's team is all evolutions, which, you know, I've battled a couple of these in the triple battles, and those got pretty annoying pretty fast, but, you know, in a single battle format, they aren't as scary. Some of them can be, but I will admit that later on in the battle, his evolutions weren't really what I was expecting, and I kind of feel like I came into this battle a little overpowered, um, you know, right there taking out Espeon pretty easily, and he's coming out into Umbreon here, and I'm going to go ahead and Meteor Mash it, and he's going to go ahead and foul play, this, this is what I expected, because right there did a lot of damage to Metagross because of its high attack, but, you know, I thought that it would have knocked me out, um, I guess, it's just the fact that uh, this Umbreon did not like set up or anything, didn't sit there using Curse like 10 times and getting its defense and attack through the roof and then using Foul Play. I, I don't know if its attack itself affects Foul Play, but um, his Umbreon goes ahead and uses another Foul Play to take out Metagross. I'm switching back into Infernape and going to go ahead and Mock Punch to take it out. And that is three members of his team down. I kind of remember Umbreon being a lot more annoying than that, but I digress. Um, Kira moves ahead and goes into a Flareon. I honestly had no idea what to expect from this. All I've ever seen of Flareons is that they have like a Toxic Orb or a Flame Orb. I don't, well, never mind, I don't think Flame Orb works, but... Mostly they're just Toxic Orb and Facade users, and then they have like Flame Charge, but um, since I outsped it, I got ahead and got the Mock Punch out on it, tried to hit me with a Quick Attack, didn't do that much, and then I just Mock Punched again, took it out, brings in Leafy on, I go ahead and just switch out because, you know, I figured it would use a Grass type move or something, I completely forgot that they hold Aerial Ace, so I guess it's a good thing that I switched out because Mock Punch probably wouldn't have done a lot to this Leafy on. But Nido King takes it like a champ, come back with the Sludge Wave, and it looks like that might be the end of Leafeon. So yes, Leafeon is down, la down to his last uh, Pokemon, and to be honest, I didn't really pay attention to the uh, starting lineup when we first started, so I was half expecting a Vaporeon. So at this point, I didn't know what it would do. I had switched out because I figured ice type moves wouldn't do much against Infernape. And then it goes ahead and pulls out a water pulse. I had no idea where it pulled that out of. But, you know, Infernape being the beast that he is survives with 15 HP and then gets an ice shard to the face. I was so upset. I thought that I was going to lose that one. Infernape pulls through with 1 HP and comes back with a close combat. That, that was pretty much the best ending I could have thought of mostly because I didn't know if this thing was going to be bulky and that Mach Punch wouldn't have taken it out, but I digress. 
Infernape pulled through, um, I went ahead and won, and yeah. So, you know, I'd, I'd like to have more battles like this later on. I, I, To be honest, I really enjoyed the single battle, even though I really like triple battles a lot more, but um, yeah. So that is going to be it for this episode. Uh, thank you all for watching. I really hope that you guys leave me some feedback on this one. Uh, leave me some likes, of course, favorites, mostly comments. I want to see what you guys think of this series. Anything that I can do to make it better, anything that I can do to make the battles better, um, you know, just anything and everything in general. Please let me know, and if you want to challenge me, put that down there. And other than that, thank you all for watching, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. So yeah.